Every life has reason for I made so oh you know lonely heart you know every life has a reason Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, shout out to all of y'all out there who says that uh, I remind them of Della Reese. Yes, I've heard it before, and uh, what an honor! <laughs> what an honor! Uh, my sister said. <laughs> I'll make you hit like a bitch. Is that all you got? Yes, I love Lisa Mandela. Uh, rest in paradise. She's now an ancestor, uh, Miss Della Reese. And uh, <laughs> I consider that quite a compliment. Anyways, I wanted to share this story with y'all. And uh, Aton, I know you're going to say something crazy. Like you said something crazy about um, the family finding a hundred dollars and giving it to the police officer, and you wasn't having it, and you thought the twenty thousand went to the police as well. No, 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 baby, it did not go to the police. It went to the family. And what my reasoning was in the video because. I freaked out too when I first saw it. It was like, what? You got a blessing and you gave it to what? But I had to calm down and get out of my pain thinking just for a minute. I'm talking about in my opinion for me. I had to get up out of it and I thought about what is the highest thing? I mean, you know, forget about everything and everybody, forget about what's going on right now. That officer helped them out of a jam. You know, they lost a family member, and I don't know if you've ever had a family member that's murdered. I have two of them, and it's really one of the most hideous emotions you can go through. You know, you borderline on revenge constantly, and um, just it's just their emotions is just too much. And um, that officer had helped them through that, and because of that, they gave him a hundred dollars for his family because he was in critical condition. I think the officer has since died, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but when the people heard of the story and this single black woman who the officer had helped and her daughter suggesting that they give it to him, that's what enabled them to raise the $20,000. Now that's a feel good story. And sometimes our time, we could use um, a little good news. It's like uh, that song Ann Murray got. Nobody robbed a liquor store on a low part of town. Nobody OD, nobody. Remember? Remember that song? Nobody had to die today in the good old USA. We sure could use a little good news today. I remember that. Shout out to Ann Murray up there in Quebec. Anyway, listen to this, y'all. This is a pretty interesting story. Um, Is this a crazy story or is this another humanitarian story because a lot of time people think when you locked up behind bars you're not human anymore you know and that these are not people who have made mistakes and some of them worse than others some of them need to be there and don't let them out 
But some of them are still there because of one night and may have been young or whatever the circumstances were. Um, but this is very interesting because what this, um, what, what, um, what this, uh, 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 article states is that three Georgia inmates are filmed rushing to save life of guard who suffered a heart attack but managed to electronically unlock their cells before he collapsed. Wow, now that's deep. Three Georgia inmates have been credited with saving the life of their guard who suffered a heart attack outside of their cell doors. Mitchell Smalls, Terry Loveless, and Walter Whitehead all rushed to Deputy Warren Hobbs aid when he fell unconscious at his desk in Gwinnett County Jail. Smalls first alerted the rest of the inmates to the emergency by banging on his door. Loveless and Whitehead then rushed to Hobbs' side after the deputy managed to unlock their cell doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, records show that Smalls is being held over battery and drug charges. Whitehead and Loveless on drug charges. See what I'm saying? Whitehead said, it scared me. I don't care if it's a police officer or whoever it was. I will do whatever I can to save a man. I don't want anyone to die. And that's how most people feel. That's the heart of um, the human being. It's the way of the world. That would make him alter that feeling and say, okay, kill him. Yeah, he got a heart attack. Yeah, kill him, kill him, kill him. That is the way of the world. You know, and a lot of times people don't know the difference, you know, but you got to have a balance where you can have a spirit of discernment to see. Um, They didn't want that guard to die in front of them. At the end of the day, even though he's a guard, it, it, for a split second, he was a human being that was in distress and he needed help. And a lot of people be like, what? No, no, you did what? Yeah. Well, and I never get mad at a kindergartner because he can't read a 12th grade book. And that's just what I feel when people try to, um, you know, Talk about a person for what level they're on or how they see things, see the world. Um, some some people are more evolved than others. And all I'm saying is uh, all the guys weren't black. Um, Michael Smalls, Terry Loveless, and Walter Whitehead. Two white guys and a black guy. And the correction officer... Warren Hobbs was a black man. So I, I think that's important to know. And uh, Smalls told Fox News, I started hollering and screaming and banging on the door to try to alert everybody to wake up. Deputy Hobbs, who is recovering at home, says he can only remember a sound like drums and hearing people shouting his name. He cracked his head open oh, in the fall. The sheriff's office wrote on Facebook, the inmates whose rooms were closed enough to see what was happening began pounding on their doors. Soon the entire unit was thundering with noise as many inmates pounded on the doors shouting for our deputy who lay unconscious and heavily bleeding on the floor. Wow. Our deputy later stated, that while he did not realize he had been unconscious, he became aware of what sounded like pounding drums and could hear inmates shouting his name over and over and over again. He immediately thought an inmate needed to help and somehow managed to rise to his feet and press the control button to open all the cell doors. Well, to open cell doors. 
Inmate Lovelace added he grabbed a hold of the desk and he was pulling himself up like this. It was sad because it didn't look good. But all the man had, it took all the man fight that man had just to get up. As he came up, I make eye contact with him and I'm like, Deputy Hobbs, please. Uh, when it, Sheriff's Office tweeted a picture of the three men writing kudos to these inmates for coming to the aid of our deputy when he suffered a cardiac emergency in the housing jail unit. We thank them for timeless assistance and the lesson for their action that their actions provided. It's not known the uniform that makes the hero, it's the person wearing it. You know, and this time the heroes were in prison guard. They added, many people have strong opinions about law enforcement officer and criminal, but this incident clearly illustrates potential goodness found in both. No, it doesn't. I mean, yes, yeah, I'm sorry, I take that back. Sure it does. But it also takes that that uniform is all it is, a uniform. And where is your humanity? Because that uniform that you put on is not supposed to jeopardize, make your humanity or not, or take it away. You're supposed to have that whatever garb you put on. You know what I'm saying? And a shout out to y'all uh, in California, because I know y'all was hit with a 4.2 um, uh, mag, uh, you know, uh, uh, a 4.2 magnitude earthquake. So, um, and I know it shook across the San Fernando Valley from what I heard from that region over there. So I hope all of y'all are okay over there. And I want to give y'all a shout out and hope everything is safe. So, that being said. Hmm. What is this? Rapper Malik B, one of the pioneering hip-hop group. The Roots dies at age 47. He was a member for their first tour. Wow. Rest in power, Molly. All right, family. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.